Strong hope we find milk of human kindness soon. Anything you want to talk about? World is bigger than Strong knew. Just curious what you're thinking. So much walking. Want to do more fighting! Anything you want to talk about? Humans talk too much. How are you feeling about things? Someday, super mutants kill everything. What are you thinking about? Humans all look funny. <laughs> How do you feel humans about Humans like other humans. Smart, but weak. Strong stay with human for now. Yes. What are you thinking about? Strong getting hungry. That's all for now. Psst. Yes, human. Here. Strong will get it done. Got a second, big guy? More talk. Anything you want to talk about? So many humans. Not many super mutants. What are your thoughts Human on Human is okay, fighter. For someone so small. Hey. Over there. Something. Hey, Strong. Yes, human? What are you thinking about? Strong getting hungry. Want someone to eat. What are you thinking about? So much walk. What are you thinking about? Strong want to smash. Are things all Strong right between think us? human is okay, leader. Not best. Not worst.
Hey. Strongly seen. Strong not able to do that. Here. Good idea, human. Yo, Strong. Yes? How's it going? So many human. Oh? Just curious what you're thinking. Strong hope we hmm? Nothing else for now. Hey. Speak. How's it going? Someday, super mutants kill you. Anything you want to talk about? Fist was weakly. How are you feeling about things? World is bigger. Just curious what you're thinking. Humans all look funny. <laughs> but what do you think? Humans are strange. Always want talking. Ugh. Strong think human not bad fighter. Not great fighter either. Hey. What? Strong, hold up. More talk? Just curious what you're thinking. Humans talk too much. What are your Strong waiting for human to find milk of human kindness. Human not bad fighter though. Careful with fingers and toes. They get stuck in teeth. So I got a question. Why the hell... Would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of gun all the time back before the war. 
Get a bunch of union boys to work some construction job that would go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll. Where'd you go? Find you.
coward. Human no, you didn't have it in you. kind of human junk. Heads up. What? Hey, Strong. Take meat. Make humans strong. Just curious what you're thinking. Someday? Well, what do you think? Humans are strange. Always want talking. Uh, uh, strong think human not bad fighter. Not great fighter either. Wait, the hell? What, you clowns afraid of your own shadows now? <laughs> How you doing in there, Valentine? <laughs> Feeling hungry? Want a snack? Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing, you got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three times. Three strikes? In the Black Book? But I never... Oh, no. I, I... I gotta smooth this over. Fast. What the...? Time to dance! Sweet. I don't know who you are, but we got three minutes. Before they realize muscles for brains ain't coming back, get this door open.
Aha, my knight in shining armor. Question is, why does he come all this way? Risk life and limb. An old private eye. I need you to find someone, but it's complicated. I don't exactly know where they could be or how long they've been gone. Well, I've done jobs with less. Somehow nice and simple never makes it onto the menu in my world. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Malone's crew here. Bingo. Here used to be small time, muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players. Until they found this place. I don't know what happened to the previous owners. But not this is Vault Tech interview time. number zero three for the position of Overseer for Vault 114. Interview subject, Benjamin Beasley. Mr. Beasley, as Overseer of Vault 114, how would you settle a disagreement between two of your Vault residents? Well, I would obviously take it through the proper channels, assuming neither of their requests were against the law, of course. This <laughs> is, of course, assuming that the conflict had already gone through all the other members of the Vault's Residence Council that I plan on organizing. Vault Residence Council, you say? Yes, of course. People need government. They yearn for it. I think it's a civic duty of every red-blooded American patriot to serve the... Yes, I think we have everything we need here. Thank you for your time. Oh, already? Well... I look forward to hearing from you soon. Yes, I'm sure you will. Please make sure to fill out your non-disclosure agreement on your way out. <coughs> this is Vault Tech interview number 21 for the position of Overseer for Vault 114. Interview subject, Kimberly Weiss. Hello, Mrs. Weiss. How do you do? And may I just say what an honor it is to even be considered for the position of Overseer. Ever since I was a little girl in mock government, I dreamed that one day I would have the opportunity to lead a community to greatness. My teachers all told me I had leadership potential, and without my guidance as student council vice president, those bake sales surely would have failed. Just the thought of being able to organize and run this small group, to show them a better way, to lead them to a future so bright that they... My goodness. Looks like we're out of time. What? We just started. Yes, yes. Thank you. If you could just send the next candidate in as you leave. Oh, uh, of course. Did I mention I was head of my debate team? I'm sure you did. Thank you. This is Vault Tech interview number 87 for the position of Overseer for Vault 114. The candidate has refused to give his real name and has only provided the name the Supkin Harry. That's right. I ain't telling you nothing. My name is the name I call myself, not the rank and number the government brands on me. No, sir. Fascinating, Mr. Um. Soup can, would you mind telling me why you're distrustful of the government? I've seen what they do. Come up the works with red tape and bureaucracy, take every hard-earned cent and use it to fund their Illuminati, Freemason sex parties. I'm a free man. I should be able to live as I see fit. My taxes pay for them streets and alleys and dumpsters. I'll sleep where I want. Sir, according to this, you haven't paid taxes in many years. <clears throat> I seen the back of them Abraxo boxes. Not for consumption? Don't you tell me what to do. I'll eat what I want. Sir, you may just be 
The perfect candidate. How would you like to be the new overseer for Vault 114? I ain't wearing no goddamn tie. Or pants. Heads up. What needs smashing? Not too smashed. Maybe good human junk here. and loud, huh? Well, it gets the job done. Bad for whoever cleans up the floors. This door's on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. <coughs> Almost got it. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. Hey, Valentine. You help me get out of here, and then I'll help you. You really want to do this here? With these human cockroaches around every corner? Let's keep moving. We'll talk once what we're the... out. Show yourself, coward! <laughs> Shoot! 
Bazooka. you I have one way to get that cool up okay anything a, a sort of uh, note I guess um, from a sponsor here in Diamond City and I'll uh, Okay, because he only serves one thing. Where'd you go? More stairs? Who built this damn vault? A fitness instructor? Yes. 